Brentwood Primary School has reopened. It was shut after violence and disruptions by parents. Last week, the Education Department, after receiving a mediation task team report, opted to reopen the school, but some parents have refused to allow their children to return. Back to school. After weeks of disruptions and the year's syllabus seriously compromised, teaching went off without a hitch. There have been some racial tensions here in the previous months until the last time when the school was closed. People were calling each other by names, you know, and so on and so on, you know, using the K-word. We really don't want to play the race card, you know, too much here because it, it won't take us anywhere. What we are more interested in this first phase is to open the school. Then we are going to have dialogue sessions. Embattled principal Noma Temba Mulefe, who returned to her post, stressed the importance of learning. We are here to do what? Learn. We are here to do what? Learn. All the teachers are here, and I believe they are ready to teach you, so we will be doing the business of the day like we normally do. Respect, respect, respect. Mulefe was exonerated in three investigations of financial mismanagement. Tempers fled when parents met the education MEC. The MEC urged parents to resolve the problem. Those parents that believe they can take their children to school today, they have that right to take their children there. Uh, when I left the school, we had 643 learners uh, in that school uh, today. Despite all efforts to normalize the situation, 61 parents have now transferred their children from the school. After weeks of instability at the Rudiport Primary School, teaching and learning is finally underway. Parents have been encouraged to work with the school and officials for the sake of their children. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News, in Davidsonville, Rudiport.